Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about room error rate. Rooms are full of distortion. So our goal, if we think about them in terms of error, is to lower the error rate in the room so we can hear more music. It's like an onion peeling the layers away. Every time you do, you hear more. Um, a scab on your skin, when it heals, you get new skin. It's the same thing in room acoustics, and here's the problem. I always tell people, room acoustics are like shock absorbers in your car. Shock absorbers in your car, they wear out over time. So somebody gets in the car that's never been in the car before, they can tell that the shocks are gone. That the driver, he'll most of the time say, oh no, they're fine. Well, they're not, but they've worn out over time and he hasn't noticed a big change, a big error rate in, in the system. Same in room acoustics. We've been listening in bad rooms for years. Eight foot ceiling heights, 12, 14 foot widths, clutter everywhere. You know, the error rate has been really, really high. So total sonic presentation value is the room and it's underlying three times for a reason. And the gear. Okay, it's more than 50%. I don't care what the ratio is, but it's huge. It's just as important as the electronics, that's for sure. I say more, because there's more to do. There's more to, to reduce the air rate. You have to do more than just hooking up an amplifier or a speaker. You gotta treat the room correctly, okay? So analog versus digital, it's kind of like the, the same thing, you know, our gear is, high resolution, digital in some cases, analog in others, but in either case, the resolution is really high. And then we take that gear and we put it in a room with a high air rate or lots of distortion. It makes no sense. You're, you're going one direction for, with resolution in the gear and you're not considering the room, which is the analog part of the equation. It doesn't make sense. You, we gotta start changing our thinking here because you're. You're losing so much. You're only hearing 30, 40% of what your system's capable of producing. And at the cost of amplifiers and speakers and cables today, that's unacceptable. I can't accept that. I hope you can't either. You know, we want to get as much as we can out of it. But I want every dollar that I spend on gear. I want it back in musical presentation value. So how do we do that? We lower the air rate. So what are our distortions in room? Standard modes, reverberation, speaker boundary interference effects, noise floor, all kinds of things. And they have priorities in terms of treatment. So must minimize room distortion to increase room resolution. There's a correlation there. Air rate, lowering the air rate. We want to get the problems to fall below audibility. That's what we want to do. We're never going to eliminate them, but we want to get them to fall below audibility. Just like in our examples with reflections and speakers, we have a balance between the direct and the reflected energy at the listening position. Same thing in a room, you know, it's a balance. It's a balance between audibility and distortion, lowering the, the distortion or the air rate down to a point where it's not audible, okay? So low frequency pressure and reflections, those are the two issues we have to deal with. We have to deal with low frequencies first. We do a lot of testing in mid-range. That 125 to 500 hertz region is a, very, is a favorite of mine because there's so much information in that. And just talk to any mix engineer who knows what he's doing and he'll tell you the same thing. There's lots of information in that 100, 125 to 500 cycle range. And you gotta get that range right. And most rooms that I see come across my desk, you don't have a chance without treatment because of the dimensions. And that's a subject for another video. So just remember, all input into a room is air. We gotta lower the air rate. We gotta get rid of the modes. We gotta manage reverberation we got to set up correctly, and we got to have a lower noise floor. If we minimize the air rate, we increase resolution. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.